Okay, so um, this is a simple tutorial on how to get this animation in Photoshop CS4 or later. Now, um, here's my initial document. Basically, it's just a text layer with a one pixel black stroke, and then my image file, which literally I went to Google, typed in Converse, and picked one of the first images that came up at random. So that's that. Um, now, if you notice in the animation, it sort of disappears when it gets to the center, and that's because we're actually going to cut the text layer in half. So to do that, you have to simplify it first by right-clicking it and going rasterize type. Um, and then once you do that, you can sort of cut it in half. So we're going to use like that box tool, the second one down, and then go about halfway, and then um, we're going to go up to layer on the top menu, layer new layer via cut and i'm used to just going shift control j which is why i look so confused so now the problem is that the stroke on this one which was automatically generated is covering up the second one so we're going to right click on the stroke and select create layer so now that the stroke is its own layer we don't have to worry about it and then we're just going to recreate that first half and second half without having to worry about the stroke I just wanted to explain why I was doing that. So, um, okay. So now this is me being totally confused again because, again, I'm not used to doing this without shortcuts. Um, but I'm trying to make a new layer here, and I'm totally lost. Layer new. There we go. Okay. Um, so now we're gonna make the gradient that goes on top of the text and is what makes up the animation. Um, so I'm just selecting the second one there, which takes your foreground color and fades it to a transparency. But I'm going to double click, wait for it, double click on that, no, come on, double click, okay. And then that'll bring you to the gradient editing thingy. And I'm just going to like make a new sort of section to this gradient by clicking on the top and on the bottom. Um, and to the left here, I'm going to make this into a darker pink and then it's going to fade into the lighter pink. And I did that by clicking on the bottom box there. Um, the top box is what controls the opacity. So it says 100 because that's a solid color. Um, now I'm going to move this about halfway by where it's this location, just set it to 50%. And then that'll put it halfway in between both sides of the gradient. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the opacity, which is the black box on the top. And I'm going to set that to 75 so that it's slightly more transparent and click OK. So now I can draw my gradient, just draw a straight line. And mine's about that size. Um, and you're wanna, going to want to duplicate it because it's going to come in from both sides. So duplicate that. Duplicate, right click on the layer. What are you doing? OK. OK. Right click on the layer and select duplicate layer. Um, and then move them to either sides of the text. Now we're going to want to right click and select create clipping mask, which is what sort of makes it invisible except for the part that's on the text. Um, and if you notice, I have my transform controls showing, which is on the top when you have the move tool selected. So then even though you can't really see your gradient right now, you can still see the box. So that makes it easier to move. And then I'm going to take my other gradient, the one that's on the right side, and create a clipping mask on the second half of the text, like the one that's further to the right. And make sure you do that properly, like the left gradient with the left text and the right gradient with the right text. Otherwise, it's not really going to work, obviously. Um, okay, so now if you don't have your animation window showing already, then go to Window Animation. But here's mine. It's already open. And I'm just going to click New Frame on the bottom, or Duplicate Frame. Um, and I'm going to shift the right gradient to the left, 5 pixels. So wait for it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm going to shift the left gradient to the right, 5 pixels. So they're coming towards the center. Um, OK, and I'm just going to speed this up because I'm going to create a new layer now and do the same thing, move them towards the center five pixels, and that's sort of how the animation comes into being, but it's really repetitive, so you don't need to see it. 
Okay, so as your gradient is moving closer to the center to the point where you can't really see it anymore, then your animation is pretty much done. And you can press play at the bottom of your animation window to view your completed animation. Um, don't worry if you feel like it's a little bit too fast because um, obviously it takes a little bit quicker to load in like on your computer than it would to download it off the internet. So it will appear slower when you actually save it and upload it. Um, so if you had any problems with that, then you can always inbox me. And if not, then congratulations, that's your finished animation.